I've just seen you in A Promise, which is, uh, by the way, a very classy movie. What draws you to these kinds of movies, and in particular to um, one made by Patrice Leconte? It was mostly Patrice Leconte. Um, I was a huge fan of Patrice's films. I very much wanted to work with him. I always wanted to work in French film, frankly, but I always, I always thought that I'd never be allowed because I don't speak the language well enough. So when the opportunity to work with one of my favorite French film directors came up, in my language, it seemed obvious. And I think the story is very beautiful. I don't think I'm drawn to period drama because it's period. I think I'm drawn to it because the stories tend to be interesting. And I think there's a lot to be gained from reflecting on a time past that we'll, we will never have again. That's because it's ephemeral and the way we live now is so entirely different. Um, but yeah, I don't think it's anything more than that. Uh, the script is well written and uh, very precise. Uh, how did you work with uh, Patrice? I mean, in terms of you know some space for improvisation and creating and sustaining this this temperature and affection between you, you three of you. Uh, well, he he conveniently doesn't speak English so well. So if I improvised, he didn't notice. That. I'm joking. <laughs> he um he 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 was very um he was very relaxed with it actually. You know, he was his eye is on. You know, he has a great meter and um, thermometer, I suppose, is the word I'm looking for, 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 for truth. Um, and if something is sincere and credible, that's when he's happy. He doesn't care how you say it or, you know, what the words you're using particularly, but we were pretty faithful, but he's not, um, he's not bothered with that as much as the, the emotion being sincere. So I've read that you're one of your favorite movies in Manhattan by Woody Allen. Yeah. And uh, how was it for you to work with him and after that to enter this whole, you know, Hollywood machine and um, well it was a dream come true uh, and and I suppose it did you know put me on the map as it were and I don't think I would have the same kind of career without it. So, you know, I was I was very lucky in that regard. I would like to stop uh, for a while uh, by Iron Man 3 because um, you obviously yes. have a little fun with, with it. Yeah. And uh, what's your opinion about uh, modern Hollywood in terms of, you know, big blockbusters? Do you watch them? Do you like them? What do you think about them? I watch them, sure. Though th there are days where there is nothing more um, exciting than the possibility of, of going to the cinema to watch something that's popcorn and brash and in your face and exciting and funny and proper sort of you know movie stuff and eat a bag of popcorn at the same time i love all that I, it, it it also practically speaking um those films feed the industry and without those films you don't have the smaller films could you tell me something about working on the set of uh, transcendence because um, it's a really curious project it was uh in incredibly exciting it's incredibly original i don't think it's going to look or feel like many films that i have certainly seen um and it's uh, it's necessarily intriguing and should stay that way so i'm not going to tell you anything more